Someone recently asked me, how is it possible that he has a higher credit score than his friend and even more income, but when they both applied for the same credit card, they got, he got a $5,000 limit and his friend got a $30,000 limit. Now, I know this question is on a lot of people's minds because I get asked this a lot. And unfortunately, there's no simple answer. But because I know that so many people have this question, I want to teach you a few great tips we learned over the years on how to up your chances and set up your credit file in a strategic way in order to get approved for high credit limits. In the next few weeks, we'll discuss how to get approved for high credit limits. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss a single tip. Now, the first tip is obvious, but it is very, very important. Keep your credit report clean. Do not carry high credit card balances, which is any balance above 9% of the credit limit. No late pay payments. People often think, hey, I'm a good boy. I'm just late once in a while. No, no. Banks will not trust you with high credit limits if they find here and there late payments on your credit report. Another important thing is not to open new credit cards frequently. The highest limits I usually see go to consumers that did not open any new credit cards within the last two years, but also have a solid credit history of two to three years or even more. So to sum it up, here's what we discussed so far. Your credit report should be clean from late payments. No credit card balances above 9% of the credit limit. If you can go even less than that, that's even better. And have a minimum of two years credit history have no recently opened credit cards, preferably within the last two years. Now next week, we will dig into some more awesome tips to get you approved for high credit limits. So make sure to subscribe and stay tuned.